Hey guys, it's Shalena from That Kinder Girl, and we just got home from our impromptu um, family day out. Um, we had our flooding weather day today, um, which none of the roads that I was on had much water on them at all. So um, we kind of got a free day out of work today, um, which is always nice. My husband took off, um, took a day of vacation, and we just kind of, we went out this morning, we got breakfast as a family, and then we, we just kind of hung out today, went to a few places, did some shopping, um, which we don't normally do. But um, I thought that I would do a haul video, which I have never done, so this will be a first. Um, so I just thought I would show you what I got, and I would um, kind of um, just share with you some teacher things that um, I found and how I plan to use them. So um, first I'm going to start with my haul from Target. Now this is not a very big haul, it's like maybe three items because I have to limit myself when I go into Target. Now I did buy some other things while I was there, um, but mainly as far as teacher stuff, I only um, bought a few things. So let's start there. So my Target haul today, um, I got out of the, what used to be the dollar spot, I got this set of um, dividers that I thought were absolutely adorable. They were just a dollar. There are five um, file dividers in this one pack for just a dollar. So um, I thought I could use this in my planning book or um, just in any of my data binders or anything like that. So um, I thought they were really cute. So just a dollar in the dollar spot. Um, and then I also got two packs of wood pencils for a dollar a piece. Um, my class does um, class dojo and there is a points system and um, when they reach a certain goal or a certain point amount, they can pick out a fancy pencil to use. So I got them some new fancy pencils to put in kind of like our treasure box and our dojo boxes. So um, got two packs of those and that is all I bought at Target for teaching um, for the classroom. And I was pretty impressed that I was able to get out of Target, which is three things for my classroom. Um, however, I also went to Dollar Tree and there was no way I was getting out with just three things. So let me share with you my Dollar Tree haul. Um, so we can start with um, air fresheners. Um, it's getting warm again and kids are coming in from outside and they get stinky and we, <laughs> my school is um, located on or near and around farmland. So um, when our neighbors start clearing out their barns in the springtime, it can get a little smelly. So I got two of these Renews It After the Rain scent um, air fresheners and I put one on each side of my classroom and um, it works really well at um, clearing away all the smelly stuff that you just don't care much for. Um, next I got a pack of 36 clothes pins and you know we use this these for just about anything. Um, I am going to use some of these in some of our um, guided math stations and I'm also going to um, redo our um, center time, our free choice center chart and I'm going to need to put their names on each one of these. So um, I got a pack of 36. Those will last me for quite a while. Um, what else did I get? Um, I got, they had um, these little Sure Fresh reusable mini containers with lids and it's a pack of 12. I got two packs. Um, and I'm going to use these with these game dice that I got. I got um, four packs of dice um, to put two dice in each container. And then that way when we're doing dice games for math, my kids can shake the container, roll the dice, and they don't go flying all over the classroom. Um, because that is a big problem in um, the lower grades is they just want to throw those dice everywhere so if I give them something combined um, contained not combined but something contained for them to keep it in then there won't be any problem with dice flying all over the room but then I also found these big um, foam dice so I got a pack of green a set of green and a set of orange um, and I thought um, these would be good in our guided math groups. We do a lot of dice rolling for um, um, our 
literacy stations. Um, they have to roll dice and then read that line of words or read that line of sentence or different things like that. So I thought these fun big foam dice would be good and a good change for my kids. Um, something new and exciting for them. Um, let's see, what else did I get from Dollar Tree? Um, I bought two packs of these elastic head wraps, headbands. Um, two packs of these, there's 12 in each pack, so I got 24 of those, and um, hopefully we can use those for a lot of different activities. I'm pretty excited about the, the possibilities that those hold for me. Um, I got, um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's a little scratchy. I've had a pretty severe cough the last few days. Um, I got these, this three pack of um, lock top snack containers and I thought these would be good um, for storing. Um, I make a lot of um, like small CVC word cards or CVC picture cards for my kids and have found that I really don't have a whole lot of storage for those. So I'm going to start with three containers and see how these work on storing those. And if they work really well, I may go back and get a few more. Um, but I thought this way I can, you know, be aware that all of my CVC um, reading cards are in this container, this type of container. So I think that's what I'm gonna use these for. Not quite sure, um, but that's kind of what I've got in mind. Um, and finally, I just got three bunches of flowers because I have a vase in my classroom that right at this moment is empty. So I got some pink flowers and purple and some white to kind of just arrange somehow in that vase um, just to give my room a little bit of color. So that was my Dollar Tree haul and um, I got some other things um, for the home. Um, I'm going to be doing this um, bathroom project for my kids bath toys that I have seen on Pinterest where you take a shower rod, um, one of the tension shower rods and you put it at the back of your um, tub and you hang the Dollar Tree baskets with the handle, you put shower hooks in the basket and you hang it on the shower rod and then the baskets have holes in them. So um, when they're done in the bathtub, they can just put all of their toys in the baskets and the water will drain out of them. You don't have to worry about getting them getting mildewed or anything like that. And it keeps the bathroom, the, the bathtub, the bottom of the bathtub clean and um, the kids are able to keep it clean. So um, I got six baskets and some shower hooks and a tension rod from Walmart today. So that's a project that I plan on doing for the home and that stuff will not go to school. So I didn't share those things. Um, let's see, let me move my Dollar Tree stuff out of the way. Um, I also went to Walmart and I got um, these great value plastic bath cups. There's 100 cups in this pack. Um, I use these for a lot of different things. Um, I have a math station where they bowl and they use a tennis ball and they set the cups up as bowling pins and they um, it's subtraction bowling where they um, start with 10 and they roll and however many they knock down, they take that many away, see how many are left. Um, and then I've also used them with sight words. I write sight words on the, the bottom of the cup and um, make a stack and they have to read the sight word on the cup and if they get it correct they can start building themselves a tower and um, just different things like that and I had run out of cups um, so I bought another pack of cups um, I also bought three packs of binder clips because I am kind of obsessed about binder clips so I bought this pack of small binder clips they're pretty um, pretty and decorative and um, just adorable colors. So I bought that pack and then I bought this pack of medium size that are all black and white. There's a glare on them, um, but they're black and white. Um, very cute binder clips. And then just a 36 count of just colored binder clips. So I bought those to have, um, to kind of just restock my supply for the end of this year and next year. And then at Walmart, I also found this really cute zipper pouch, and it's called a fag fabric document holder um, by Casemate. And um, the reason I bought this, it was in the clearance section in the, um, like right behind the photo department. But the reason I bought this is 
um, at the end of this school year, and it just opens, it's just a zipper pouch. I mean, there's nothing, nothing fancy about it. Um, but at the end of this year, we will be, um, every teacher in our school will be getting a um, touchscreen Google Chromebook um, to have like the laptop style Chromebook to go back and forth with us um, at school. And um, I thought that that might be the perfect size for that to slide right into. And I won't have to worry about um, putting it, you know, it getting messed up or scratched up traveling back and forth to school with me. Um, so I thought that might be the perfect little case for my new little touchscreen Chromebook that I'll be getting. Um, so that was the end of my Walmart haul. Um, now, the last thing I have to show you is something that I got at um, a festival this weekend. They had um, an old oak festival um, near my town and, um, you know, craft vendors and um, musicians and um, artists and authors came and set up their tables and we were going through this um, festival this weekend and I met a lady named Claudia Ware and she is a children's author and um, she speaks at schools and um, she has a web page it's www.forhimpress.com I'll kind of hold up her card a little bit I can't can't really see but um it's really backwards um but down here it's www.forhimpress.com and she um has written four children's books two novels and one memoir and she was a real sweet lady and I had never heard of her before um but I bought one of her books because, as you guys know, I teach kindergarten. And the beginning of kindergarten is all about learning the alphabet. So, um, I bought the book, The Day the Alphabet Rebelled. And this book is absolutely adorable. Um, she wrote this book for many different reasons. Um, she said that she wrote this book in order for kids to be able to just learn their ABCs. She wrote it for them to be able to recognize their ABCs. Um, so, um, all the letters of the alphabet kind of rebel for a certain reason. Um, the capital T rebels because it has, it's tired of carrying the bar across its head. Um, the S rebels because its back is hurting because it's continuously sore from being curvy. Um, so there's different reasons that those letters all rebelled. And then in the middle of the book, so all once they rebel, they all go and hide somewhere. Well, when they hide, their hiding places are all the letter hides in something that that letter begins with. So then it can go into teaching beginning sounds. So not only are we teaching letters and letter recognition, but then you can go in and teach beginning sounds with that as well. So um, I thought this would be a really great book for my kids uh, starting next year. I think I might even read it to my kids this year when I get back to school tomorrow. But um, here is a picture of Miss Claudia. Um, real sweet lady. Um, and if you can... Go to her website and look up this book if you're interested. I am absolutely sure you will not be disappointed. Um, but that was kind of my um, exciting find for the weekend that I just was not expecting. And I'm pretty excited about reading. And I'm, I'm kind of um, trying to figure out, you know, wait and see how my kids are going to react to it. Because I th think it's a really cute book. Um, but I hope you enjoyed my haul. Um... Like I said, it was my very first one, so I may have been way too fast explaining everything or not fast enough, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that red subscribe button so that um, you can never miss one of my videos. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any other suggestions of any other types of videos you would like to see, just leave them in the comment section below, and um, I will do my best to film it. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Monday evening, and I will talk to you later.